Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Donald. I'm Hazel. And today we have another Universal Yums box. Yay! <laughs> so this is the May box. Mm -hmm. We uh, it's been a while. Our last video we had some technical difficulties, but we're back. So this time it's gonna work. <laughs> All right. Uh, do the unveiling. We think it might be grease, but we're not sure because we don't remember the last yeah. box. <laughs> it's been a month or so. The clue from the last box. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Ooh. We were right. It is grease. It's grease. Boom, boom. Yay. And, um, oh, it's got a little flag in it. Oh. <laughs> Let's go there. Okay. <laughs> so, let's we'll see okay. what kind of goodies we got. We got some, some chips. Bread chips. How about we just do these and then tell you what we got. <laughs> Alright, so. Mm, looks like some kind of uh, potato chips. Oregano. So, let's see. Tastes like sour cream and onion. They're good though. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Have a lot of Tati's. I guess that's the, the brand. Um, these are bread chips and they're garlic bread chips. Mm. Oh, has it in Greek cream of that. <laughs> so this is how garlic is spilled. <laughs> 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 little biscuits. Mm -hmm. Like little biscuits. Yeah, they come with a little hole in them. These are really good. These remind me of the little breadsticks you get in like your snack mix with the peanuts and the pretzels and stuff. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a bag of just the little breadstick things. Bread mm -hmm. slices. Yum yum. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> Okay, here are some more breadsticks with extra virgin olive oil, sun-dried tomatoes, and Kalamata olives. Mm. Hmm. That sounds good. <laughs> I like okay. sun-dried tomatoes. Very good. Mm. They kind of taste like um, the combos, you know, the mm -hmm. ones that have like pizza without the filling. But that's good. Actually, it reminds me of like cheese straws. I wonder if they have cheese in them. Oh, no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, to me, they have that texture of like the cheese straws. They're good though. Have I had a cheese straw? Mm. <laughs> we have a croissant mm. filled with chocolate. That looks yep. good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's a big croissant too. Just like this. I make sure you have chocolate though. It's got some. Oh, it smells good too. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. Mmm. <laughs> they like their bread. Mmm. I like their bread. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was really good. I would, I would have expected this to be in the uh, the French French box that we had. Mm -hmm. This oh, is wow. Really good. Mm. You can have this with like coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. It'd be, yeah, really good. Save that for later. Thumbs up for that one. <laughs> well, 
Oh, here we go. Uh, a traditional and delicate flavor that leaves a long-lasting sweetness in your mouth. Rose. Rose. Candy? They look like little gummies, but they could be hard when we taste it. We'll see. In France, they gave us the, uh, the licorice Tic Tacs, which they called Rose. Air gross. Yeah. So. Nasty. The licorice is gross. Unless it's red. And then it's good. Uh, well, these are red, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't taste like licorice, though. Mm. There you go. I got two. <laughs> I mean, it's so good. Kind of tastes weird. Mmm. I don't know if I like it. Thanks. I'm gonna chew it a little bit longer. It gets nasty. <laughs> mm. It's sweet. It's really, really chewy. Mm-hmm. Really, really chewy. It's different. It's not. It, yeah, it's not a strong flavor of of anything. If you have cavities, this is for <laughs> you. <laughs> um, and if you have dentures, this is for you mm -hmm. because it's very, it's very hard to chew. Mm. For its feet, this small, like a little tiny piece of candy. It's almost like a gum drop, but kind of like sticking your teeth in. Yeah, it is like a gum drop. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Rose gum drop, that's what we'll call them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some chocolate. Mm. Orange chocolate. Can't go wrong with chocolate. I can't read any of it. <laughs> so, orange chocolate. That's what we're going to call it. I don't taste the orange, but I do now. It's like a dark chocolate with a hint of orange. Mm. For it to have so many oranges on it, you would think it has a lot of orange flavor, but it's mostly chocolate and a hint of orange. It's hard. The orange is subtle. Yeah. And it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. I don't know what kind of chocolate this is. <laughs> I just know it has Mona Lisa on it. Um, oh, it's got hazelnut in it. Mm, I'm not right. a fan of hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that it might. The wrapper's so nice. Mm, it's a work of art. <laughs> I think I got Mona Lisa on it. Pun intended. <laughs> See, Mona Lisa. Chocolate. I guess these are kind of like the Greek Ferrero Rocher, the um, uh, French maybe. It just doesn't have like the nuts on the mm. outside. It's okay for it to have hazelnut because like I said, I'm not a fan. If you like the Ferrero Rocher, then the, these are the, the Mona Lisa or the, the Greek version. More chocolates. Mm. There's a lot of chocolates. And they're iron assorted chocolates. I have like a whole bunch of the box. Hmm. Little block of chocolate. And yeah, it's got a little design on it. It's cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if mine had anything in it because I put the whole thing in my mouth. It just tastes like chocolate to me. Mm. 
and they had new gear they met. Ace and something else. Was it good? It's okay. It's okay. Overload on chocolate, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Uzo candies is expired by Greek liqueur. Mm. Vodka. <laughs> ah, black licorice. <laughs> it says black licorice. It's like a little clear, like hard candy. Mm. Suspect. <laughs> You don't taste the black licorice? I don't taste anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No thanks. You don't taste black licorice? It's gonna be like two seconds. No. Nope. I'm well, glad that wasn't like the last thing that we had. <laughs> <laughs> I would be upset. I mean, I guess I kind of taste it a little bit, but it's good. This Donald White Slippers, I'm not a fan at all. Alright, so we have some sauce nougat with honey. Hmm. It's got like a wafer on the outside. Yeah, like the little sugar wafer. It's almost like a marshmallow cookie. Uh, consistency with that nougat. It's really chewy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like fluff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fluff with the um, a sugar wafer on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's like a light snack. It's not heavy like the chocolates that we've had or yeah. the the um, the nasty licorice the chips. Okay, so the last thing in the box. Serenata? Serenata? I don't know. Bingo. It says on that. <laughs> Bingo! Um, it's a fine European wafer. It's got chocolate on it, of course. Everything's better covered in chocolate. Of course. Kind of is like a vanilla wafer covered in chocolate. I'm getting kind of like a, a um a Kit Kat. I was but gonna say Kit Kat. Not quite as much but, chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, definitely that chocolate with the wafer consistency. It's good. Mm, they're really good. good. <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, they gave us some tea. Mm. Sanfron herbal tea with sage and lemon. Mm. Verbena. Verbena. Did you get the same? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's tea. We'll have to tea. try that later. It's the mm -hmm. first time we've gotten tea in one of the uh, Universal Young Yeah. Pots. Okay, so we brewed the tea. The saffron herbal tea. With sage and lemon for bean. No. Mm -hmm. It's got like a Oh, it's a flower. So we're going to taste it and... I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's, it's like a yellow. Mm -hmm. Smells pretty good. It's yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> should let it cool off a little bit, maybe, yeah. but it's. Uh... Hopefully, it won't burn us off of my lips. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's not good. Then. Yes. It's not bad. Like like most teas, it's not really strong. Yeah, I feel like it needs sugar. 
But that's just me. I don't really drink herbal tea that much. To me, it really doesn't have a flavor to it. I can't taste the lemon or the sage or saffron. It smells okay. Mm, it smells good. I can't. There's no flavor to me. It's not bad. It, it's a, a neat, uh, neat option they put in the box. It's warming me up. Yeah. Warm meal. <laughs> there you are. Not bad. Yeah. It's okay. Don't give it a thumbs up. <laughs> give it a side thumbs up. Side thumb. Not yay, but not no. Right here. Got it. Donald, out of all of those, which ones would you say were your favorite? Definitely the croissant, I would say, is one of the best. And then, I think my second favorite might be the, uh, the breadsticks with the uh, sun-dried tomato and calamala olives. Mm -hmm. They're actually really good. Yeah. I like the um, croissant because it's really good. Mm -hmm. And this this right here is really, really good. Like, <laughs> I would probably eat this whole thing. Um, and these chips weren't bad. They kind of mm -hmm. taste like um, sour cream and onions. But they're really good. They're very crispy, but light at the same time. Mm. So not quite kettle uh, cooked, but yeah, still, yeah, still yeah, yeah. crunchier than your typical. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so did you read the trivia last time? Or was it me? Yes, one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember, so yeah. I'll read the trivia. Okay. Okay, which of the following is required by law of all Greek citizens? A, joining the military. B, voting in elections. C, going to college. Or D, giving a portion of your paycheck to the church. I'm going to say joining the military. Donald is going to say joining the military for 200. Um, that would be wrong. And <laughs> it's actually voting in election. Okay. I can see that. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So our second question. In ancient Greece, throwing an apple at someone meant you were declaring your love for them. A, trying to start a fight with them. B, getting rid of evil spirits inside of them. C, or D, wanting to share your apple with them. <laughs> that seems a little too obvious. I would say wanting to start a war with them. One need to start a war with them. Depends on if it's a fresh apple or a rotten apple, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't say if it's fresh or rotten. But the answer would be declaring your love for them. So if you're in love with somebody, just throw an apple at them. <laughs> and they'll know that you love them. <laughs> okay. Contrary to popular belief, which of the following is it typically eating in Greece? A. Feta cheese. B. Greek yogurt. C. Hummus. Or D. Pita. I want to say Greek yogurt. Alright, Greek yogurt. And what? Donald is three for three right now, yeah. guys. <laughs> it's actually hummus. They don't eat hummus. Well, I don't either, so I yeah. don't know. Hummus isn't good. It's nasty. They Chick didn't they didn't send us any hummus and that's okay. Chickpeas. <laughs> okay. Because Greece started the Olympics two thousand seven hundred years ago. A long time. Mm. Uh what tradition do you do they also participate in during the Olympic Games? 
A, they march in first for the opening ceremony. B, they light the initial flame of the Olympic torch in Athena. C, they provide the gold for all gold medal medalists. Or D, they march in last for the opening ceremony. Mmm, these are tough. Don't. You watch the Olympics? <laughs> Not the beginning. <laughs> I want to say they start. They start the march. All right, Donald says, A, they march in first for the opening ceremony. Dun, 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 Donald's right, yay! Ooh, <laughs> one out one. of four. <laughs> <laughs> they march in first for the opening ceremony. They do it every year. That's cool. So do you want to read that? Let's see. <laughs> it's a great. Yeah, it's, um... What does that mean? Oh, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked because you don't speak Greek. I don't either. Actually, you do. Many words from the English language can be traced way, way back to the language of the ancient Greeks. We're not saying you could carry a uh, conversation with Aristotle, but there's plenty of influence that ancient Greece has had on our world today. Uh, and it's not just limited to language. Ancient, Greek, uh, ancient Greece has influenced today's arts, sports, and uh, most significant to the U.S., uh, our government. And uh, let's not get started on their food, apparently. Uh, surely you've eaten Greek souvlaki, or a hero, or gyro, however you want to say it. Uh, da, 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 da. So, if you're still wondering, the Greek at the top says, Welcome to Greece. Okay, so we've learned something. Welcome to Greece. But then again, do you really need an introduction? So, do we have any clues for next month? Yes, we do. Okay. We've searched high and low for the best of the best. We've tried snacks in the north, south, east, and west. We looked in the mountains, uh, prairies, and ocean with foam, yeah. and we reached our conclusion. There's no place like home. Mm. Mm. So, there's no place like home, Dorothy. Kansas? <laughs> maybe. Sounds kind of like, could it be a U.S. box, maybe? It could be. Uh, I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I can get excited about that. I like trying different, other different places. Che uh, Cheetos and Snickers and Lay's. Yeah, I already tried it, but we'll see. So Who knows? Right. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>